Morning Football with Ronnie Huckabee. Hi and welcome to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons went down to Texarkana and won the first ever Live United Texarkana Bowl last Friday night, 44-3. And Coach Huckabee, you had to wait a little bit uh, longer than you expected to get that game in, but it was worth the wait. And what a great way to end 2013 for your football team. The ninth win on the season, second year in a row that the Bisons have done that. Right. I Wow. It's about the only thing I can say. You know, the the game exceeded our expectations. Uh, you know, I was very concerned, Billy, leading up into the game because of the limited practice time we had. And of course, uh, with our offense, which is definitely dependent on timing, and and uh, you know that has such an effect on your your ability to take care of the football. So proud, considering the elements, how well we took care of the football. Of course, our defense was dominant from the first quarter on. Uh, it was just a great way to end the season. Uh, you know, this is the latest that we've ever played football at Harding. And I'd like for us to get used to that, you know. Uh, if you're going to advance in the playoffs, you're going to have to play into de December. And, uh, you know, we just had a great time. And uh, so proud of the attitude of our coaches and our kids. You know, you could have gone down there in, in that, you know, that rain, you know, about 35 degrees. And, uh, you know, you could have really easily said this is not worth it. And our, our kids had the opposite attitude. And I think that played a great bearing on the outcome of the game. And when you had to wait an extra week to play the football game, obviously you talked about trying to battle and practice through finals. How much of a credit do you give to your seniors uh, for, for coming together and, and, and really wanting to finish this season like that? They were uh, pivotal in, in making sure that our team was ready to play. I, I'm going to tell you that was a very interesting week. You know, we started with the ice storm that caused the postponement of the game. Uh, Monday morning, we were not able to take finals because of ice on campus. So that meant that finals that were scheduled for Monday morning were rescheduled for Monday night at 7 and Tuesday night at 7. Well, those were our open practice times. So we had about 30 out of 100-something kids present on Monday night and about 50 on Tuesday night. The ice finally melted so we could go outside on Wednesday. Uh, so we really had one day of practice uh, that I would consider quality practice in preparation for that game. And uh, I think it's a credit to, as you said, our seniors, our coaches, and the fact that we've spent a lot of this entire season paying attention to details. And uh, the, the learning, the muscle memory continued through that game. So it was, it was just great. All right, it was a very historic night for the Bisons on Friday night. We'll come back and start looking at the first half highlights right after this. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. It was a dominant victory for the Bisons, 44-3 on Friday night. 504 yards of offense, but the defense was outstanding, Coach, only allowing 100 yards of offense, and here's a big play to get the thing started for the defense. Without a doubt, and, you know, Billy, the start of the game, I think, was, uh, you know, both teams were kind of trying to find their way, and, uh, you know, we realized real quick that, uh, you know, taking care of the football was going to be imperative. The ball was a lot slicker, as you can see right there with the mod. Uh, you know, we caused a turnover on them early. They caused a turnover on us early. I think after that, both teams pretty much settled in regarding taking care of the football. Donatella Luckett was going to be a big part of it, and he starts off right here. Donatella had a great night, but, you, you know, Donatella is a dominant football player. Keenan threw the ball exceptionally well in the conditions. You know, they were supposed to be the passing team, but our quarterback, you know, was six out of nine for over 200 yards and two touchdowns. That was the, the, the double option right there to Ahmad. Uh, 
doing a great job. And we hand the ball on the off tackle play, the tackle trap to Romo, and he gets in the end zone. And Romo Westbrook, the first touchdown to Levy United, Texarkana Bowl. 7 nothing Bisons, uh, and it would stay 7 nothing as we go into the second quarter. Yeah, as I said, you know, I, I do think the layoff, you know, was a little bit of a factor in uh, us kind of getting untracked offensively, but, you know, those kind of runs right there, like Romo, really helped. You know, he, he ran over that middle linebacker, and, you know, Romo's been great after contact all year long. He was really good the other night. This, you know, the block punt. Okay. Commerce leads the nation in block punts, and uh, they got another one against us, which is not typical for us. We do a great job, and then, of course, again, here's an issue where the wet ball affected things. But the great thing about this is both of those, you know, tremendous turnovers led to three points. That's because our defense rose up and just played exceptionally well in the red zone this entire game. There's the trap to Romo. And as has, you know, been done many times this year, he took it to the house. Great blocking up front. You can kind of see on that shot how heavy it was raining. Uh, you know, really good job by Romo. And I thought that touchdown was a huge play to make it 14-3 at the half after Texas A&M Commerce had gained a little momentum, gotten on the board. It was 7-3 right before that. You take the 14-3 lead into the halftime locker room. You know, a two-score lead in a game like that is huge because – uh, you know, both of us realize the conditions and, and how that is going to affect offensive production. Fortunately for us in the second half, you know, we were able to kind of go against the, the norm for a, for a weather game like that. So, yeah, that was big. Going in at 14-3 at halftime was a big lead. So the Bison's up 14-3 at the half. Stay with us. We'll come back and look at second half highlights after this. I'm lucky. Let me help you with that. I get to do something I love. It has nothing to do with touchdowns or titles. Everybody bring it in. I get to play a part in the life of someone just starting out. How many of you think homework is just as important as teamwork? I help keep kids in school. Good. And that's the name of the game. My name is LaDainian Thomason. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. Give, advocate, volunteer, live united. We were drawn here from all 50 states and more than 50 different nations. We are 7,000 students of languages, arts, sciences, and life. As diverse as our origins and as different as our backgrounds are, it's remarkable how much we have in common here in this place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons would get the football early in the third quarter, and uh, your offense would waste no time getting the football to Donatello Luckett, and here's a huge play in the third quarter. Well, you know, we saw the corner was backed off of Tello, and uh, anytime we see that, we're going to throw in the fast screen, and we did, and, you know, it's hard to realize how fast he is until you're out there and see it in person, and they, they did not realize it. And, uh, you know, this is a guy who runs at 10, 400 meters and, you know, has, has got fantastic momentum speed also. Uh, that was huge. That put us, you know, put us up 20 to 3. And uh, at that point, we felt like we were getting our running game on track too. There's Danico Jackson Best with a great run, uh, breaking a couple of tackles. We run the double option to Jason Aller into the boundary and get a great run by him. And right now we're, you know, we feel like we're hitting on all cylinders. This is the toss to Eric Simmons. Eric's been hampered by a hamstring injury. It was great to see him get back out there and make a contribution. Eric is a, you know, a, a slot that's got a great future for us. This is the bootleg. Great job by Keenan of redirecting, getting that pass off to Donatella. Donatella had 140 yards plus receiving, so he had one of his best nights as a bison. And then John Gate. Even in those conditions, you know, knocks one through. So we're up 23-3 to three at that point. And then we come back with one of the best catches I've ever seen, Alex Finley with a one-handed catch. Uh, and that puts us up 30-3. to three. And, and we uh, get a uh, better look at it right here, Coach. Yeah. Uh, we have a great picture. Jeff Montgomery took a picture of that mm -hmm. and, and posted it on Twitter. And it is a fantastic picture of that. He really did a great job just kind of getting it with his fingertips. Dominating third quarter and uh, for the game, the Bisons had the football for over 40 minutes uh, in the contest. That was a huge part of it. And here's another big turnover. Right. You know, 
Danico did a great job of getting back on this football, yeah. you know, keeping them from getting possession on the one yard line. But, you know, we had 297 yards rushing, but we had two 20 plus lost yardage plays. And uh, if we hadn't had those, I think it, it you know, we'd, we'd got that 350 rushing that we're shooting for. This is midline option and Keenan with the keep and uh, did a great job of getting right up the field. We come back with the with the double option again. This is to uh, Jason Oller. Jason had another really good night for us. Again, the double option. This is to uh, Christian Pletta. Christian did a great job on that one. We come back, throw the fast screen to Tello. As, you know, as we say, you know, he's very dynamic with the ball in his hands. And, uh, you know, because of that, they had to deploy their secondary differently. It made this play, the, the double option to the fullback, a, a great play for us back to the trip side. And that's uh, Petty Magalay with the touchdown there. And Petty had a really good game in the fourth quarter for us. He's going to have a great year next year, I feel, feel real confident. Come back, they mishandle the punt. We're on top of it. Uh, do a great job. That's uh, uh, Devante getting the recovery. And then we turn and hand the ball to Petty again. He bounces his outside and uh, gets down inside the five yard line. We saw Alex Finley, a senior, get a touchdown. And now here is Ty Finley, another senior uh, with a big touchdown late. You know, that was great for Ty. You know, Ty's had a tough latter part of the season with the injury bug. Uh, but, you know, he was feeling good the other night and came out and did a great job for us. Good blocking on the corner right there for him to get in the end zone. And, and there's the celebration that, that took place after 44-3, to uh, the victory and the first ever postseason win by a great American conference team. And uh, it will always be in the record books as the Harding Bisons. It was, as we said earlier, Billy, it was a, the culmination of, you know, four weeks that were very different. And, but when you, we finally got there, even with the elements, guy on the field start play, started playing the game, you know, we just played with a lot of passion and intensity, and uh, it, was a, it was a great night for the Bisons. And, Coach, back-to-back -back nine win seasons, uh, first time that's been done, uh, and, and also uh, 20 points in, in every game this year, at least 20 points or more, first time that's been done in school history. Yeah, you know, we, we averaged right at 44 points a game and, and about 490 yard total, total yards a game, uh, about seven yards per snap, and that is really good, you know. Uh, overlooked, I think, sometimes with that is just how well our defense played and how they continued to improve through the course of the year. You know, we, we've talked about it on this show that we came into the season with a lot of unproven kids on defense. And we finished the season with a veteran defense that was playing at a really, really high level. And the great thing about all this is we got eight starters coming back on offense and seven on defense and some, some other kids who didn't start for us that got a lot of quality play in time. So, uh, you know, the two nine win seasons in a row are great. Uh, we feel like the, the program is, is going in the direction it needs to go. And next year we want to win more than that. You know, we want to get in those national playoffs and, and advance. So uh, feel real good about where the program is right now. And that's a tribute to our assistant coaches and our players that we have. All right, stay with us. We will come back and look at the trophy presentation and the MVP presentation and also take a look back at the season. That was the 2013 Bisons right after this. All right, guys, we had to be smarter about what we played on, okay? I want everyone to go outside. We're going to run Red Rover on three. What about you, Tony? I'm going to run around circles, flap my arms, and make engine noises like this. When it comes to playing, we kids are the pros. We're eating right, too. We fuel up. To play 60! If your school doesn't have a program, be a leader. Start one. Click today and join, join the movement. movement. Healing takes time. It also takes knowledge and expertise. Here we learn to reach out to and care for others through the application of medicine and true compassion. We understand that our mission is to take our training and abilities out into the world where they can and do heal the lives of others. For us, that mission began in a place of faith, learning, and living. Harding University. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee, the Bisons able to uh, get the victory in the Live United 
Texarkana Bowl, the first ever, and uh, we'll look back right here and look at the trophy presentation and also look at Keenan Kellett as he gets the MVP award. Keenan Kellett is the most valuable player. Keenan Kellett is the most valuable player of the Live United Texarkana Bowl, the inaugural MVP. And uh, let's hear some thoughts from Keenan Kellett out of the field. You know, uh, that's just a testimony to what we do here at Harding. I mean, it's a, we're all one team, and uh, just because I get this award, I mean, we couldn't have done it without every single person on this football field. So uh, it just goes to tell what hard work and you know effort puts into it, and that's what we're all about here. So all right, we do this. Keenan Kellett uh, receiving his most valuable player award and uh, turning to the Bison team right behind him and uh, they are giving him a big uh, I thank, uh, applause also. Let's Southern go back downstairs. Stay in the rain all day. Mike, come on up. One of the big tough decisions that we had to make was the quarterback decisions that we had to make over the course of organizing this ball game was what kind of trophy we were going to have. This guy right here put up with me for several months trying to come up with something different. And we showed this to the coaches when they came down here for a press conference. And we think it's a great trophy. And this is Joe, uh, Mike Rogers from Rogers, Rogers Trophy and Sign that helped design this trophy. And Coach Huckabee and Greg Harding University is going to get the inaugural championship trophy from the Live United Bowl. <laughs> Coach Huckabee accepting the trophy right now and hoisting it up high in the air for his team. Hopefully they'll let him talk and we'll get uh, Coach Huck's thoughts down the field. Here it is. The Great American Conference now gets its ninth win of the year. Goes down in the record books with first Live United Bowl champion. We're looking forward to a great relationship. I know you guys want to go to the playoffs, but you know we, we got this game in. We've got this thing off the ground. And what does it mean to you to be able to have this, uh, have this postseason op opportunity? Alan, we are honored to be a part of the inaugural Live United Section Canada Bowl. So thankful to the people of Section Canada and you and your committee and how hard you guys work to put this together. We all doubt it at times we get to play it, but uh, we are just so grateful that we got to be a part of it. So thankful for the opportunity to play one more time. I'm so proud of these kids standing behind us. They did a great job. And you guys are just, uh, it's been a great first game matchup, and you guys kind of got way ahead there and kind of already set some Live United Bowl records, so we're going to start our own little record book there. Had a great offensive performance tonight, but we couldn't ask for a better team to win our trophy, and uh, our best uh, hats off to Texas A&M Commerce uh, for coming down and going through the adversity that we've all been through the last couple of weeks. But we've got the game in, and we've got something going here, and we hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we hope to see you again. We know that you want to go to the playoffs, but uh, we created something here that we think we can keep going. No doubt. And again, thank you so much. All right. Thank you, and thanks to everybody. That is Coach Huckabee's thoughts down on the field. The Bison's uh, victorious. They win the inaugural Live United Bowl, uh, Live United Texarkana Bowl, 44-3. to What a great scene in Texarkana on Friday night. And, uh, Coach, you could just see the excitement uh, on, on you and, and uh, also your, your team. But it, it took a lot to get to that point and uh, to qualify for the Live United Texarkana Bowl. And Tim Hamilton has put together highlights from the, the season, the 10 games, to get to that point. And we'll look back now at the regular season for the Bisons.
Skellig takes, drops straight back, fires for Luckett, completed the 35-40, Donatella Luckett to midfield, Donatella Luckett to the 30, and we left at the 20, Donatella Luckett all the yeah. way! <laughs> Touchdown, Harding Bison! moments in 2013 and, and, and my thoughts uh, playing on national television and then also uh, Kellett to Luckett at Washita to win and then Philip me on on the 94 yard scoop and score at Arkansas Tech some things that I'll always remember about this season uh, your, your thoughts and, and final thoughts on the 2013 season great group of kids super group of seniors great leaders you know I told our our guys the other night when we were in the the last huddle on the field at, uh, at Texarkana you know, one of these days you're going to be able to say, hey, I knew that guy, you know, when he was a, when he was a football player at Harding because these guys are dynamite. I mean, they're going to make an impact on the world, and, and they're the right kind of people. You know, I've, you know our goal at Harding is to, is to change the world through the kids that we have that come through these halls here at Harding University, and uh, I feel really good about this group and, and the impact that they're going to make because, as I said, they are the right kind of people. And the other thing that I think about is how many young players – got to play this year and make a you know really positive impact on our football team and that bodes well for the future now it's up to us to go to work this offseason and uh, start dreaming big 
Coach, it's been my pleasure to sit beside you and, and look back each week at the highlights. And uh, we thank uh, special thanks to Tim Hamilton, Mark Pryor, Morgan Chaffin, and Landis Tyndall for uh, putting it all together. Couldn't have done it at all without those guys. They're awesome. And Billy, it's always a pleasure to work with you. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time as always. And the 2013 season was very special for Harding football. We'll see you next time. Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee.